This is what we're looking at. Slow that down. Okay, let's get started. Go up to titles. Grab a default title. Type in the letter X. I'm going to make that 200 points on the font. Press OK. Render that. And we're going to bounce it. Now, bouncing, of course, is going to be Control or Command E as an Edward. And we're going to call this X. Make sure we go out at 60 frames per second as well as a high resolution. Now, we're going to bring the X back in. In Xfinity commercials, they have a tail at the end. To remove the sound, we're going to press Control plus Alt plus D as in David or Command plus Option plus D as in David. We're going to go up here to Mask. We're going to select the single line. And I'm going to take this and move it around until we get rid of everything except the tail. Render that. And now we're going to bounce that one. We're going to call this one tail. Control Command plus E as an Edward. Bring the X down and bring the tail down. Remove the sound. Now we're going to lighten via compositing the top video so we can see the bottom one. And we're going to move that tail into place. It does not have to be perfect here. I'm not trying to do that. Just showing you how I did this. Render that. Press OK. So now we have that extended tail on the X. Remove the sound. We're going to call this X tail. Export that or bounce it. Now let's type in trim. So let's bring down a default title. We're going to make sure we add the typewriter animation. Render that. Play it back. Trim. We're not going to use the E in extreme. Let's go back up here and make the text spacing 3. But do whatever you want to do. Render that. There's our trim. And now we're going to, of course, bounce that one too. We're going to call that X Dream so we know what it is. We're going to use the X again. So the X normal or the X with the tail. We're going to use that in lesson number two. So keep that close by. So now we have our X tail and our X Dream. Remove the sound again. Command plus Option plus D as in David. Now I'm going to take this all the way up to the right, grab the edge here and drag it all the way down. I'm trying to figure out how big I want my X to be. I don't want to do what they did exactly, but I'll show you how I think they did it anyway. So I'm going to put it about right there, but I'll change it. So I'm going to go into animation here, and I'm going to bring that X down and just keep moving over. and. So I think we're at about 40 right there on the font. So now we just go ahead and go to the end. And I'm going to press the left arrow keys to move it over. Let's see what we have. Spacebar, Alt-Enter, goes full screen, Spacebar, plays it, the video, or stops the video. Now, what I think they did was if I go to scale, I had it about maybe 1,200. I'm going to make this 3,000. That's going to give me a completely white screen. Now I'm going to move over one frame and start a new keyframe set and move that down to 80. So now it's going to reduce from 3,000 to 80. Now I move over one more frame, start a new keyframing sequence. Move it over to where I want to stop it. Click on the X. Now move the arrow key over to the left. This is 80. I think my original text went down to about 40%. So keep that in mind if you're doing it this way. That's how it should look. Bounce it and use either one you want. So let's bring down the X I did before. Now I'm going to take a snapshot of that right there because I want to make sure that when I stop, I have an X that's frozen. Get, remove the sound from this. I'm going to move both of these up. I want the text to come out, the stream to come out from underneath or behind the X. So now I'm going to click on the top video, go to compositing, and go to lighten. So I can see the bottom one, render that, and see what we have. So that's too far over to the right, and it's too far up. So I'm going to go ahead now and move extreme up. But I'm going to also, before I do that, 
lock the top video let's see what we have now okay so it comes in a bit too late so I'm gonna move extreme from the on the bottom line over a little bit now I need to change the compositing on the top video to lighten so I can see it now I can see what we have here it's okay let's render that not bad let's move that extreme up and over just a little bit more so I'm gonna lock the top video again and I want to yeah it should be up and over to the left so lock the top video let's take your stream and move it up and over to the left about right there that's what we want yeah now we just have a masking problem so let's mask out that gray T behind the X there click on the video click on masking we're gonna use the rectangle this time and go ahead and just mask that out very easy to do love that so there you go so now it looks like the tr the trim is coming from behind the X that's what we want look at that one more time not trying to be perfect here again but that's what we want so export that so now we have our text in place for the most part but first I have to speed this up a little bit bring it back in press control or command plus R as in red let's give that a standard flash out and I could play with that but that's sufficient for now remember this is a transition now we can go ahead and build the entire transition I provided two assets from pixelbay.com two minions we're gonna have two pictures three colors and of course the text and sound so bring in your two minions let's bring the one down here we want to cut this so hit control or command plus B as in boy to cut that on the spot bring down your yellow over here let's shorten it up move this up bring down your blue let's go ahead and make our track smaller so we can see more And bring down our minion here underneath the blue bring down our white let's shorten that up a lot and then put our text somewhat in place we're going from a picture to a dissolve to yellow to pure yellow to white to white text let's put a dissolve on the two colors here white and yellow now I'm gonna go get some audio I'm gonna go to sound effects and get wish number one I'm gonna cut that right here so it comes in right when we're making that transition I'm gonna go to my picture here and I want to darken this picture up but you could go to auto enhance here and it may come in dark just go ahead and click on that and lighten it up so that works as well I put a dissolve initially on the text here but it brought in the gray area that I didn't want so I end up taking it off so just take the dissolve off of the text right now but this is me playing around with this as I do it to see what kind of compositing I needed besides lighten if I needed overlay or something like that but play around with this so now I want to see the blue so I'm going to change and the video here to lighten so I can see the blue beneath it and that gray area has to go so I'll fix that in a second but first I'm going to shorten up the white here and move up the blue for sure and the minion picture on the bottom or second to the bottom now I want this to go pure white so we have to go from yellow to white to text and then to blue in the new picture make that lighten make it normal because now I want to see that there you go that's what we want and then it slides over if I want to cut that I can always just go control or command plus B as in boy and cut that right here cut them all at once so we have the yellow and then that gray so that's where I realized that we have to remove that gray so move your blue over we want that blue to take effect right away but once you remove the dissolve on the text and extend the dissolve on the white we get the dissolve we want I'm going to go from again yellow white to blue and picture to picture 
So it looks like this. Okay, let's go ahead and extend the blue, drop in a dissolve on that blue and shorten it up. Like that. And we have options. We can go with the yellow orange finish or the blue finish. Now let's bounce that, bring it back in. Now we need to speed it up a little bit, so click on it and press Control or Command plus R as in red. And I'm going to customize this. I want to go slow, fast, slow, fast. And this is my complete transition. Alt plus Enter, spacebar for full screen, and the play. All right, now clean yourself up. So hit Control or Command plus Shift plus apostrophe and go ahead and clean up, go to performance, clean up, and this is the second transition, and that's gonna be next. One more time in slow motion. There you go. We're gonna do that one next. So get mad skills with Primora. Get your game on. Find out more at midamericandreamers.com.